Hey everybody, this is Nancy Norbeck with this week's Creative Pep Talk. Now, two pep talks ago, I talked about recognizing your creativity. And recognizing your creativity is really important because a lot of us don't. Which is why I want to talk to you today about lapsed creativity. What happens for a lot of people is that they either are told at an early age, or maybe later, but usually at an early age, that they're not creative and they believe it and they never do another creative thing in their lives, even though before they were told that, they were actually really creative and had all sorts of creative dreams that they were looking forward to fulfilling. Or sometimes, you know, you lose track of your creativity because, hey, it's easy to do creative stuff when you're a kid, when you're in high school, maybe when you're in college, but after that, you got a job, you got a family, you got all these other things you need to do, and it falls to the bottom of your list. Now, both of these things are really, really normal, but they're also a problem. Our culture tells us that our creativity is not important, right? The important things, and they are important, are things like feeding your kids and paying your rent, right? I get it. Those go up to the top of the list. But the fact is that it's not good to lose yourself in the process of taking care of those things. And our creativity really is the truest expression of ourselves in many ways. So when we lose track of our creativity, generally speaking, we lose that part of ourselves. Sometimes, especially in the case of those people who've been told that they're not creative, we stuff it down so far into our psyches that we don't even remember that it's there. The thing is, it is there and it still wants to be expressed. It still wants to come out. It's an important part of who we are. Even if we don't realize that it's there, even if we are convinced that we do not have a creative bone in our bodies, which is so not true, because every one of us was a kid once and drew or sang or built stuff out of Legos or whatever it was that we did. But if we really believe that it's not there, this part of ourselves just sits there abandoned and resentful and it festers. So, Part of my mission is to help people to bring this part of themselves back. It's super important. The world needs your creative work, even if the world is a small part of the world. The world is always a better place when we participate in our creative dreams. Always. So I've been working on a, a course to help people who have lapsed get back in touch with their creative selves and start doing their creative work again. As of filming and recording this, this episode, it's not ready yet. I'm still interested in talking to people who've been there to hear their perspective on what they need. And so if that's you, I would love to hear from you. I would love to set up like half an hour to talk to you. You can find more about that in the show notes. And I've actually written a longer piece about this, including my own story with it, for this week's Substack newsletter, which went out a couple days ago. And you can find the link to that in your show notes too. So if you'd like to help me out, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your experience and what would be helpful to you. And feel free to read the story. And, and if you know someone that it applies to, please share it with them. They can contact me, they can read the story, they can see what happens. Either way, try to get back in touch with that part of yourself if you've lost it, because it's important. I know the culture tells you it's not, but it is. It's important for you and it's important for the rest of us too. So, hope to hear from you. And either way, do something creative, even if it's tiny, and with that, I will see you next time.